Voodoo for Inventor allows you to make copies of existing designs using assembly copier functionality. So first you need to define the location of a new copied files. This can be done for all the files or individually. Now it's time to change the properties. So we will replace the file names first. So let's use a replace tool to change the text to something new. Okay, pick the column where you want to affect this change. Then we can use other tools like prefix or suffix to add something to the end of existing text line. Okay, when changes have been done, we can apply the changes and make a copy of existing components. Click on the link to open new assembly. Now we can make changes by going to the modeling, opening one of the files and choosing the base component. So there we are, we can go for our parameters and make the changes. Let's change the width and the depth. Okay, perfect. As you can see, there is the changes in the shape of this unit. Now we can go back to the assembly, update the changes, accept this message, and then we need to update the iBoxes since they are managed through Woodwork. They are not updated automatically by Inventor. When the iBoxes were uh, updated, we can redrill the holes using Sculpt tool since they will be in the new places. Okay, perfect. And in the final step, we must refresh the textures. So when the missing textures is back in the place, we are ready for next steps. So you can produce new BIM, new set of drawings, and new set of CNC files. That's it. I wish you good luck in your designs.